Finding Primary Law. This training session is designed to teach you the basics of finding primary law using Westlaw UK. This module will cover searching across case law and legislation, using icons to check the status of the law, accessing different types of documents. At the end of the basic training modules, you can take the test to gain your certification. In the introductory training module, you learnt how to search for documents using the home page. It could be more effective to use the dedicated content tabs at the top of the screen if you know specifically what you are looking for. If you wanted to find a case, you can hover over cases and click into a specific content type from the sub-tab menu. This is the Cases search page. You can use the template to search across case law. Click More Options to expand the template so that you can search by additional fields. Alternatively, you can browse by courts and law reports using the main toolbar. Use the template to search for a case using the information you have. Search by citation. This is a very effective way of finding a specific case when you have all or part of a case citation reference. You can search by citation without using punctuation and as you type suggestions of documents you may be looking for will appear. As you can see, searching by a case citation is very specific, so you will retrieve the exact case you're looking for. Search by party name. You don't need any punctuation, the V, or capital letters. You don't even need all the party names or have them in the right order. You may retrieve more than one result when you search by party name, as you are searching for names that appear specifically within the title. You can also search by free text or by subject or keyword. Use these fields if you need to run a more general search. For example, you've been asked to find cases discussing insanity as a defence. First, let's try searching using the free text field. You have retrieved over 1,000 cases that mention the terms insanity and defence. This would take you a long time to go through them all and some of the cases may not be relevant at all. As you can see, sometimes the free text search isn't always the most effective or efficient option. From here, we can edit our search. This time, we'll move the search terms into the subject keyword search field. This will search just the subject and keywords rather than search through the entire documents of every case. This has significantly reduced the number of search results. Your results are automatically ordered by date, however, you can reorder your results to view cases in order of relevancy.
As you scroll down the page, you may see icons and labels appearing next to some results. These icons immediately indicate the status of the case and can be vital for ensuring you are not using outdated case law. Some cases may also be labelled as significant or guidance cases, which can help to quickly point to the key cases. This is the case analysis document. It helpfully gathers together all of the important information you need to know about the case. Key information about the case is displayed on the right hand side. On the left hand side you can find useful information including access to law reports, references and analysis. When you highlight the text of a document, a pop-up box appears. This allows you to annotate the text. Under Primary References, you can see cases and legislation citing and cited. Click Showcase Summaries to quickly read about the case. From Commentary References, you can also access books, journals and topic overviews that have cited your case. These are really helpful sections for your legal research and further reading. Click Show Article Abstracts to quickly read about the journal article. Click on More Options at the bottom of the search template to find the advanced search fields. The advanced search options provides more search fields. The more fields you use, the more refined your search will be. You can still narrow your search results even further by using the filters, search within results, or edit search options. Don't forget to use the viewing option to show your search terms in context. This is a great way of quickly finding the most relevant results from a long list of search results. You can also browse to find case law. You can browse by court or law report. From the courts pages, you can find cases and materials relating to a specific court. If you click on a specific court, you will see the latest decided cases, outstanding appeals, and the ability to search cases by judges in that court. Browsing by Law Reports lists all the Law Reports Westlaw UK covers in full text and abstract in alphabetical order. Click this drop-down menu to view those available in full text or abstract only. Westlaw UK covers fully consolidated versions of legislation. Use the search template to search for legislation. Use the tabs at the top to choose which type of content you wish to search for. 
let's search for the Equality Act 2010 using the title search field. Westlaw UK will suggest names of legislation you may be looking for. Westlaw UK will retrieve primary and secondary legislation with Equality Act 2010 in the title. If you retrieve more than one result, your results will be displayed automatically by legislation type. The main act will be shown first. Alternatively, use the filters to narrow your results. This is the arrangement document. It's like a table of contents for the entire act. You can use the links to jump into any provision. Use the checkboxes on the left hand side to select provisions to email, print, download or add to a folder. As you scroll down you will see icons to indicate the status of every provision. When you click on a provision, you are taken straight to the consolidated version. That means you are looking at the law as it is in force today. You can check the status again using the icon displayed to the right. Use the links on the right to view historic or prospective versions of this provision. Use the next or previous buttons to jump between provisions. Use the link in the title to jump back to the arrangement of Act. or use the table of contents to jump to another section. On the left hand side you can see navigational links to key information and references. Statutory annotations are brilliant at helping you to understand legislation. These notes provide helpful commentary that explains what a provision covers, how it should be used, or may even clarify any ambiguity. The annotation may include quotes from the explanatory notes, interpretation, Pepper v. Hart notes, case notes, and links to relevant materials or relevant sections to help you further your understanding of the provision's scope. You may also find examples of where this provision would apply. Just like cases, use the links on the left hand side to find details of all the useful information you may need to know about the provision. The table of amendments lists out every historical and future amendment for this provision. The commencement information shows when the provision came into force. Under primary references you can see every case and legislation which has cited this provision. Use the provision link to jump back into the text of the provision. You can use the submenu to also browse legislation by type or view recently published legislation. You can browse by date or by title and search for specific content using the search box in the top right hand corner. This is an example of a bill. You can read through the text of the bill and access more detail 
and associated documents using the links on the left. Thank you for completing this training covering using primary law on Westlaw UK. Continue your learning and view the Finding Secondary Sources e-learning module. If you ever need assistance in using Westlaw UK, you can contact our support team on 0345 600 9355. You can also get in touch with your Thomson Reuters legal student representative at your university.